So Arnold Classic is this week, and we're going to make predictions. What do you think? I mean, predictions, predictions. I mean, most likely we'll all be wrong, but uh, yeah. because – We're always it, all wrong, yeah. I think, I think it's – But I mean, it goes down to the same top three. I feel pretty good about this one. I mean, this week – I mean, obviously the uh, Arnold is going to be very competitive. Mm-hmm. Some, some some athletes have dropped off, but, you know, obviously for the men's open, you have a very notable name here, Hadi Chupan, coming to So, to which categories do you guys want to go through? You guys want to go through open, uh, open first or classic first? No, I think open. we have to go to open. 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 Okay, let's go yeah, open yeah. first. We do I, wanted to, I wanted to save it for the last. But. Okay. I mean, we're going to do two. There's no 212, by the way. Uh, no, I mean, we're going to do two categories. Yeah, classic physique and men's Let's do classic first, and then we'll do the open. Okay. So, classic physique, you have... The one and only Breon Ainsley coming back to compete. You have Eric Breon's Brown. Breon's still up there going strong, man. It's great. Yeah. Uh, you have a, a, f- a fan favorite as well who's making a big splash in the scene these days. Urs, Urs Kal- uh, Kalensinski. And he's uh, like I wanted to farewell. So he's very, very highly regarded. And you have, of course, Ramon Roca Quiros. Oh, you know, um, Yes. Who's Dino, right? That's Dino. Dino, Dino, Dino I, I think and he's probably a favorite going in there. Right. You know, he's doing you know, the Arnold. Wow, he's doing the Arnold. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, he's doing Arnold. And then you have, of course, Terrence Ruffin. Ruff fan Diesel. Fan favorite, another one. Definitely, definitely. And then you have Wesley Vissers as well. Who's Very tall. He's like 6'2", that guy. Yeah. So yeah. Huge, huge. No, so it's a strong prediction? lineup. It's a strong lineup. And, uh, I, I mean, Dino's the favorite going in. But, again, it's it's. Uh, I hope he can – bring that in, that momentum from the Olympia. And you're going to see a different guy up there with, than when he's competing with, you know, Seabum up there. Right. Yeah. I right. think that the champion of Arnold Classic, anyone get... He won it before, too. Anyone get win, uh, they become Mr. Olympia champion, too. Yeah. So Dino's winning this, are we all in agreement? Let's see. You know what? That's our prediction. He's a favorite, yeah. but, you know... Well, you can't, count you, know. Out, you can't count Breon out, but let's let's say... Yeah. I don't want to count Breon out at all, actually. He's, I, I was always a, a big fan of his. Though. Yeah. I'm uh, still looking at Urus. Urus. Urus, yeah, Urus, yeah. Urus, Urus is dangerous. Yeah. He's not going to be Dino. Nice frame. Yes, he, he can. be Dino, you think? Yeah. No, he's, he, so. he, not, he never beat Dino. But do you think he can? Yes. Um, as, as you know, he's always been like a... Uh, as a frame He's third or fourth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Dino is not wide. They don't have a flurry lat, like a, uh, like a C-bomb. But Urus, exactly like a C-bomb, but smaller. I have a question. Yeah. The judges... Are the judges right? They, they represent yeah. IBB Pro. So whether you go to the Arnold or whether you go to Olympia, they're looking for the same thing or different thing. Um, I, I say, I mean, it's the same judges. They always go for the same thing. They go for the so there's, so there's no the different criteria. Judge. Arnold versus judge. yeah, you got a couple of international judges there for the Arnold that you don't get at, at the Olympia. Yeah, you know, yeah, and it's 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 totally different show. They totally different to be, vibe. They used to be there, but not not. Not anymore. No, you still get international judges. Really? I don't, yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. You get some judges from Spain, I, I believe. I think some from Germany. Wow. So let's do top, yes. let's do top three classic. And Middle East, too. What do you predict top three classic? For classic? Top three. Your top three. Dino. Win who, number one. I put it at Dino at number two. Oh, who do you put number one, then? Doris. You think he's going to win, okay. And three? I put money on him. Who's yeah. three? Um, Brian. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. So, um, damn, I, I might have to go with, you know, and, and I hope I'm wrong, you know, just to, you know, because I don't want to predict, but in no particular order, you know, you have Dino, Ors, and uh, um, Rough Diesel. Rough Diesel is too good. If Rough Diesel bring conditioning like two, three years ago, oh, I'm sure he will. Yeah. Your top three? I say it's uh, going to be Dino, Brian. And then uh, Terrence. Terrence. You don't put Orson on top three? I think Terrence is uh, pretty, um, you know, he has a lot of experience. Someone well, who's going to be yeah. up there, I think, in the top three, in my opinion. All right, let's go through men's open, but let's go through the whole list. The, name the whole the whole lineup. So we have Andrew Jack, of course, that dropped off. Rubiel Muschiera, which is... Nexilla. Nexilla, he dropped off. <clears throat> but you have some notable names here that are coming back. And I think Akeem Williams... Is coming to represent yes. the Arnold this the year. Comeback after the injury too. Big it's big name, mm-hmm. big fan favorite here as well. Generation Iron, uh, Hadi Chupan, of course, the Olympia champion, former Olympia champion. That is he arrived at America. Yeah, Rafael Brandao. You have Samson Dauda. You have John De La Rosa. Yeah, 
Coming John, back. John's looking great too. Mm-hmm. James Holland's head. Uh, you have Muhammad Shaban Alim Bobby coming as well, and then you have Antoine Milan and Justin Rodriguez. Oh. And Horace Marcelo from Brazil. Yes. So I didn't, I didn't know he was dangerous. open. I thought he was. I thought he was classic. I didn't know he was. Yeah. Open. He was classic. He was. Oh, classic. he moved right. Yeah, I knew he him. was classic last year. He moved to open. No. So he get he lost a lot of size and muscle to Who's catch this? the weight. The horse in the... He's trying to go to classic, right? Oh, yeah. like horse MD, Marcelo. Yeah. Marcelo. Yeah, Marcelo. yeah he... Uh, it's just, he looks great, but if something happens the last few days. It's always the last few days. That's why you can't predict guys from what they look like in social media to the point where they're actually backstage ready right. to go out. I mean, he has great proportions, and uh, I mean, he's good to look at, you know, good balance. It's just... I hope he is really dialing it in. So he get pro card in the bodybuilding at the pro yeah, at the pro card. When he get pro card, he compete the classic. Yeah. For the classic, he has to be catch the weight. Yes. For his high. Who here thinks that Samson will win? I, I believe Samson can win again. I know this is Hadi's first time at the Arnold, also a, a favorite. But uh, Samson is just that that round. You know, as we, as I said before. I'm not going to backtrack. At the end of the day, he comes in just enough condition, not the same condition as, as Hadi. He's enough to dominate him and, and really take it home. Where would you put home. John De La Rosa in this lineup? John De La Rosa is the dark horse. I mean, John's looking great. I mean, right now, he's dialed in, can't afford to lose any more weight to try to come in shredded. So he's just uh, working a little bit more on his conditioning because John has great shape up there. Again, the improvements. Last year, he, he did great, but still, you know, didn't crack that first spot for the, you know, the Olympia. He and was off the Labrador. Actually, it was a very, very good show. Yeah, yeah. He finished know. very well. Uh, yes, yes. He did year. well for the second placing, but uh, John needs to get in there, wiggle into the top three, top four spot. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's competing with favorites. I mean, prior Arnold Classic, you know, champion, you know, and, and top three Olympian, uh, an Olympian. So it's it's. You, you know, know John Delores are very well. You work with him for a few years. Yes. You you bring him to IFP Pro. What do he need to be win? He needs to unlock a different John. That's all, and I think he did it this time. So John just has to come in big, and I think he, he looks at least ten more pounds heavier than the last show. So that's on his frame. You're gonna notice a difference. So you, you think he, he, sh- he should bring the size, not conditioning? No, the conditioning always helps. I'm not going to say no to conditioning. It's just he cannot go down his size. He needs to outpose everybody. And again, not going too friendly. Going there to really take some names. That's it. Mm-hmm. And John, right now, I mean, his back is more, you know, more conditioned. I mean, he always has the big legs, you know, going with those big legs. And Samson, for his height and his legs, that's why he's really got to, you know, go up there and really, you know, focus and taking these guys down, man. Yeah. And as long as he stays focused and not get nervous, because nerves are the one thing that can destroy yeah. your condition. What do you think about uh, Justin it. Rodriguez? Justin, I another hope he brings in a different look. Another yeah. New York representative. Yeah, yeah. Justin not New York, not English. New York, but also the two Dominicans up there, man. Yes, come on, man. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta come in. Exactly. And 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 again, as long as he brings that look when he first started, he brings it back. I mean, that condition he brought before the the Boston Pro, or, or I mean, that's that's enough to put him in the players' game, you know, placing. Let's do top threes. What do you think? Top three. You top three. Your top three. Again, particular order. I Vic, mean, let's go. Top three is very yeah, hard. Yeah, let's do top five. Let's do top five. Yeah, yeah. Top three is yeah. very hard. Hardy, Samson, uh, John, um, and. Phew, oof, hold on, hold on. Isn't, Justin, Rafa, isn't Rafael Akeem. Brando coming in? Yep, yes. Rafael yeah, Brando. Brando. And Akeem. Yeah. Akeem. What about you? Number one, Hardy. Two, Samson. Three, if Muhammad Shaban comes hundred percent, Muhammad Shaban is well. Muhammad is actually good, man. It's if we come, if he comes hundred yeah, percent, Muhammad but Shaban. I hope he is. he got there early and he's not traveling uh, yeah. like three days before. That's a lot of mistake that the guys make too, you know, traveling yeah. three days before and then trying to adjust to the time zone and everything. 
This guy, James Holling, shit, shit. James is huge. He's huge. He made a comment yeah. supposedly that he can beat uh, Samson, something like that. So he's a... I won't take that another, away from him, why not? Client from, he's another client from uh, Milos. Yes. He's working he's a with great, Milos. He's a, he, he's a huge guy. I mean, he's, he's a very, huge and yeah. he's a very nice friend. Absolutely. I mean, I you put, put him on top five? Four, yes. Four? Okay. Yeah, I and put five? Four. I can. And you're top five? My top five is Heidi Chupan, number one, Samson, number two, three. I'm going to put in Akeem Williams in there because I know he's been working hard behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. <laughs> um, I think number four, Raphael Rondell. And number five, I'll go with James Hollis. I have last question. Last question. Do you think if Heidi will not get number one at the Arnold Classic, let's say he gets number, gets number two, do you think that's going to hurt his chances to win the Olympia this year? Back, back the Olympia, you know what I mean? I mean, honest opinion. I mean, it's just gonna add on top of to what he, he did last year. I mean, it's gonna make his chances slimmer. You know, so it's, a, it it's a very risky move. Would you agree? Yeah. What he's doing, but, but uh, you know, I don't think he's letting up anytime soon, though. The Olympia was just not too long ago, so. But do you remember Big Ram? He lost the Olympia. Then he did the Arnold Classic. Wanted to get a bounce back, and then didn't do it. I mean, if he lost. Yes. If he lost, uh, I don't think uh, it's bad for him if he lost. Because I think any professional bodybuilder, top three or top five Mr. Olympia, need an Arnold Classic uh, competition experience. 100%. But if he so loses... This is the first time. This is the first time. I mean, and I, and after, after bodybuilder, after they lose the show, the show, they need to come back again. From the big winning, yeah, it won't, I, it won't count him out. I won't discount him, you know. Yeah, yeah, I won't discount him because he still has that look. Yeah, he's, he's still he's looking good. crazy. He's still good. Only if his physique is changing for the worse. That's the only thing that's yeah. gonna affect him. But uh, he's he's still, yeah, he's you know, healthy. second he's, place. Come yeah. on, I'm very right. close. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's these are predictions. This is episode. All right, guys, I'm here today with some very useful information, some information that I think would be very beneficial to help aid you guys in your fitness journey. Now, if you've been following my fitness journey, you know that I've been using this product, Semtropin. Semtropin is a product that basically increases your stem cell and GH to help speed up your recovery process from your intense workout. Now, also, if you've been following my fitness journey, you know that I've recently had shoulder surgery and I've continued to use this product to help speed up my recovery process and now I'm feeling better than ever. So I recommend Semtropin to anyone that trains hard, trains intense, and to anyone that has some kind of injury to help speed up their recovery process.